I already reacted to Sting's part of this Aaron. amazing soundtrack and actually one of my people's Aaron, hey Aaron, uh, suggested this song as well. I am absolutely obsessed with this soundtrack now and I had never heard of this guy before but he's done some amazing work and he isn't just uh, a music person, he's a video director, graphic designer and of course a singer-songwriter so he is multi-talented, he has a beautiful voice and the arrangement of this is absolutely beautiful. Let's give it a listen. So he's French and you can hear that, a little bit of a French accent there and um, one of the things that's really lovely about him is the warmth of his tone. Unfortunately uh, we can add a little bit of warmth to our tone but um, I think that's just him. So if you want to find a little bit more in your tone, maybe you have that already, but uh, give me a woo 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 like a dopey bear and the more space you make if you make that dopey voice see how much warmer the sound gets. Um, now, I don't think that he's actually particularly doing that. I don't think he's artificially creating that tone. I think that just is his tone. <laughs> Not a good time to lose control Right as the earth is unraveling You play with your blood this is really tricky, this section. Until they break and these walls come tumbling down. Oh, they're tumbling down. So it's very bondy. You've got lots of chromatic, unusual notes coming through. So it reminds me of kind of Skyfall, Adele in this. and. It is quite confusing. It goes places that you don't expect. So when you're singing it, you have to really, really pay attention because often as well, the first time is slightly different than the second time. And it's all often an odd chromatic note that ends up in there. You hear. You're out of time and make your move. Live or die wild a few this days bit. late. And there's no turning. Perfect day goodbye because the world is on fire. That's so interesting because he makes it a bit fuller on the record. So you've got because the world is on fire here on the live version, and maybe because it's acoustic, he wants it to be a little bit more intimate because the world is on fire makes it um, a, a flip that makes it a little bit more intimate, a little bit more um, fragile sounding, I think. And um, this technique in some ways, for most people, you're not gonna sound like this. So for everyone who hasn't done any classical technique, I would think of what an opera singer sounds like because the world, go for that, because you're not probably gonna sound like that, but I want you to, practice this song if you are practicing it with um finding space and finding an openness to your voice so what that means is lowering your larynx which is a dopey sort of feeling it's keeping your tongue nice and relaxed and it's raising your soft palate so if you think of a yawn or a surprise i prefer the surprise because often a yawn involves tensing your tongue and you don't want that um, that sort of shape at the back, but often we find all those things by pretending to be an opera singer. So if you're trying this song, try that sound, you might find a bit more freedom in it, and maybe you'll go too far, but you can rein it back a little bit as well. You took your innocence, good night. You sold your friends, like guns for Tumbling down. 
He's also got quite a lot of compression on his voice, so. And compression, you're kind of equalizing the volume, so it feels really, really smooth, his singing here. Resting on a night, you have his souls with all this weight buckling down on you now. Mm. Don't you drown and float away. Like, I love that the weight of his voice on the word weight was really lovely. And um, I think there's something going on between sisters in the TV show, and this is. Um, it kind of reflects the tension that's going on, these chromatic notes, these um, kind of dark, dramatic tones, the heaviness, it really works well. Not a good time to lose control Right as your marionettes cut their strings And run away, you're out of time, mate This is higher, this one. No turning back. Kiss your perfect day goodbye. So this time he's keeping it in that full place, and that mix is really easy sounding for him, and it's actually really high, especially for a baritone. So uh, I am impressed by the like, he's just like, bye flows out of him and you can hear it's got that really balanced tone, lovely. I'll flip here. Again, that's a full tone on the record. It's kind of creepy, right? piano in it as well. Beautiful, beautiful arrangement. <laughs> I love movie music. I love TV music now because it's getting as dramatic and wonderful as movie music. I love orchestral arrangements of things and uh, things that mix classical music with contemporary sounds. For me, that's like my favorite little spot of music. So uh, yeah, what a great job. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.